Actually, I'm the one who asked you a lot in side comments. I have to comment. Let's give another round of applause to all our entries. I heard that they were even the bagyo last week. We heard that, you know, the kasakit, beginning with Chris here. And I have to comment that they were given so little time and they did so much effort for coming up with super incredible designs. But of course, you know, our number one criteria really is it's really improving what a recyclable item is. I think some of them are, of course, uh, yes, it's upscale and it looks like it's use, using the products, but in the end, it's something that's marketable, that you can actually sell it and stuff like that. So there were several entries that were really stand, excellent standouts, and so we had to deliberate which one. So I'm so excited to um, uh, choose and, and announce the winner. The winner, all right. Thank you, Ms. Tessa. And uh, Sir Egan, a question for you is, among the 13, 13 creations that you saw earlier, if you're given a chance to pick one at in your favorite, ano yun, at tayo? Isa lang, isa lang. Among the 13. No, no, no. At least for you lang. For you, for you. Kasi yung first choice ko kasi, astig siya eh. Okay. First time you see it, you know right away it's a winner. Alright. Siguro, not to preempt the winner, okay na po tayo with the questions. So now, um, since you already pre-judged already the... Ah, uh, yes. So, uh, Miss Anna. Sige po, kayo po. She's paying your bill. Yes, so you yes, better yes. her talk. Kasi I was supposed to ask another question regarding her favorite naman eh. Sige. To make it different, ikaw na lang po, what's your personal criteria with all the 30 creations? Well, thank you very much for all the um, contestants and all the participants. I just wanted to um, actually align what the what the upcycling nice. challenge was with the pro, with our product which is Amaya. Amaya as you know is our um, affordable housing arm of Ayalanan. So we wanted to come up with something that is um, maybe an interior or uh, parts of the house that can actually be used or be marketed for the affordable market market segment. So that is why we also came up with this kind of a challenge. Something that is that can actually be used, something that can actually be bought. Um, the prototypes that we saw here are really fantastic and we think that um, it has a lot of potential. So we hope that um, for those who will, for those who have bought uh, units at our Amaya Steps Parkway New Valley and all our other projects, this is one way that you can actually um, design or uh, furnish your unit or your house. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Anna. Thank you. So, right now, of course, it's the time we've all been waiting for. And I, and I think ready na yung results natin, right, judges? So, and I'm sure this is a tough competition for our candidates. And I can see that most of them did drink and put their heart out to come up with these beautiful creations, but only the best three will win. And of course, I would just like to remind the judges in our audience the criteria for judging. 40% is the creativity, execution, and level of difficulty. 30% marketability, and 30% retail value. And of course, the prizes. For our third placer, he or she will take home 25,000 pesos and a glass trophy. Wow. And for our second placer, he or she will grab 50,000 pesos and a glass trophy. And of course, for our champion, he or she will win 100,000 pesos and a glass trophy. Come on, guys, grab it. And of course, we also have a special award via Facebook voting. So I hope you casted your votes and for your favorite work. And the winner of this award will get a special prize and a trophy. So next week, yata malalaman kung saan at kung sino ang mananalo for this. So, ito na po. So we have the winners, Miss Anna. Okay. Okay. So, Miss Anna, can you announce the winners? For third place, it's uh, number seven. and she used different parts of the uh, components and made it like an artwork, a table, and a storage bin. So very wonderful execution. That's really upscaling. 
For the second place, um, this is, this goes to number 11, Chandelier by Team Bulaha. Actually, I have to say, malapit na kayong number one. But we had to really have a hard time in delivering. Congratulations, Mr. Trophy. Thank you. Kuya, balik ka din, Trophy. You know what? We were really debating between you and the second place and the first place. For the mere fact that grabe yung mga kuko nila, patay na. Sa pagkagawa na ano. It was super hard work. I think when it comes to, uh, you know, utilizing every part of the of the material, plus the ingenuity of really and the painting work, I can't believe 12 hours ang ginawa niya. niya. Pero congratulations, super well done. Okay. And the first place, the first place. Sino gusto mo? Woo! The one with the mirror. The one with the what? With the mirror. <laughs> okay, the first place. Let's give it up for number 12. Bubble Coral by Team DJE. Come on, let's play. Thank you, guys. All right, I have to say, um, it was a really tight race, but I think the uh, deciding factor, uh, she, was, she has a best explanation for why. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, um, when we were deliberating, we actually had the top two, and the decision was, it was synonymous, except that um, the tiebreaker was the you know, the craftsmanship, the marketability actual, and the alignment with the brand Amaya. You know, it's very simple, and this is, you know, very modern, contemporary. It's aligned with the brand character of the brand. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations, guys.